An upscale Tucson neighborhood turned on its ear. Apparently, this little girl, six-year-old Isabel, put to sleep by her parents the night before. They go to sleep themselves just a few feet away from her in their bedroom. Mom gets up the next morning and goes to her job as a pediatric nurse. Dad goes in to wake up the little girl. She's gone. Window open, screen removed. The two boys that live in the home, asleep, safe. Here's a shot of the home. You see a big fence, thick fence all the way around the home. You see an enclosed garage. You see various points of entry, notable, no other screens torn from the window, no other windows open. Where is six-year-old Isabel? Beth, tell me how that timeline unfolded that morning. Give it to me in a nutshell, Beth. She's last seen by her parents at about 11 p.m. Next notice missing at 8 a.m. Father calls 911 at 814. What the police are not commenting on, according to the most recent press conference that just ended a little while ago, is whether or not mom looked in on Isabel just before going to work. If she did, then the timeline would be much narrower than 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. where somebody could have abducted her. The police, by the way, are calling it a possible abduction. They are not ruling anything out, including homicide. The FBI dogs, one trained uh, for scents, an individual scent, and the, another trained to uh, detect cadaver, decomposition of a body, uh, one of them's alerted, at least one, and they are not saying which one. But there's an alert in the house that is causing them to refocus on the house. They've done a search as far as a three-mile radius, but they don't expect at this point that they're going to expand it beyond the three miles. They're back at the house. Special guest also taking your calls, Sergeant Maria Hawk, the PIO of the Tucson PD. Sergeant Hawk, thank you for being with us. Sergeant, who exactly put Isabel to sleep that night, the mom or the dad? Well, this information that that's uh, being kept as part of the investigation at this point, and not because we're trying to remain secretive, but that these are pertinent um, pieces of information that help us to get a clear picture of exactly what happened and get our minds wrapped around exactly, you know, the chain of events, the sequence of events. Okay, so was it the mom or the dad? Again, that information is something that we are keeping uh, close to the cup at this point until we can... Um, truly wrap our minds around the sequence of events and the timeline. Okay. Um, once Sergeant Hawk, what time, what time did the mom go to work that morning? Uh, it's my understanding that she left for work at approximately 7.30 in the morning. So 7.30 a.m. Did she check on the child peek in before she left? Um, you know, that is very similar to who put the child to bed. That is information that was, is an uh, integral part of the investigation, so it will not be released at this point. Are there two other children in the home, both male siblings, correct? That is correct. What time did they wake up? Uh, it's my understanding that they were awoken uh, approximately the same time as the father um, was okay. uh, attempting to, to wake Isabel, so about 8 o'clock a.m. Everybody, we are live doing our part in the search for six-year-old Isabel. Take a look at this little girl. We are putting up the tip line for you. Isabel taken out of her home, missing in the night. Tip line 520-882-7463.